What is up YouTube? It's your boy Trev Goat here today bringing you another Call of Duty Blackout video today and today's video is how to win solo games in Blackout. So my main points for this video are positioning, rotation, making sure you have the right perks end game, and gun skill. You have to be able to hit your shots. I would say the biggest keys are positioning and rotating by knowing what your surroundings are and knowing where to rotate off your break. Um, this will all depend on where the circle goes. If you're going for a high kill game, you may want to post up and wait for people um, to rotate when they come into the circle. If you're just going for the win, try to stay towards the back end of the zone, away from a lot of the towns and rotations, or towards the middle of the zone, maybe in a building. I know we all hate that guy that is camping in a building, but if you haven't won a solo game yet, it may be because you have been too aggressive um, at the beginning of the match. Um, a lot of people die by like the 4th or 5th zone, so by staying grounded and not getting into as many gunfights will ultimately give you the best shot at being one of the top 5 endgame. I know these games are not as flashy if you're not um, like a YouTuber or anything, does it really matter? A win's a win. If you're going this route, you have to make sure to know when to rotate and also make sure you get looted early. I would recommend rotating early and often to make sure you have the ultimate position on your enemies when they are pushing into the zone. Now if we're talking end game, that is the time to not be too naive. Um, say you're top 5, top 10, you want to try and locate all the opponents if you can um, so you know that you will not get shot in the back. This can easily be done by knowing where your enemies are shooting at each other from, listening to the gun sounds and seeing um, the shots will give you an opportunity to position yourself so that you're either farther away from the shots or you can get easy kills. This will be a time to maybe be closer to the zone because you know there won't be people rotating as late because the zone damage has increased so much. So let's say you have reached top 5 now. This would be a good time to pop all of your perks if you have not yet done so. I would say dead silence and awareness would definitely be some good perks to have in that situation as you will be able to hear your enemies from farther away and also be able to sneak up on them without them being able to hear you. But besides those, I think Reinforce and Consumer are the two main perks to have late game. Everyone will be throwing nades and concussions late game, so you have the ability to counter those as best as you can. Um, you can also put like a trophy system down, um, that also helps. I'll show you a situation on the screen here uh, where I didn't have Reinforced and um, I got lucky anyway. <laughs> So what Reinforce does, doesn't allow stuns and grenades to do as much damage as it does. Um, so I would have been moving a lot faster at that time um, with, with that perk popped. Consumer allows you to heal faster, which is also crucial at the end of the game if you are stuck in a tight situation or if someone is camping in a building and trying to win the game by zone. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I made sense uh, with what I was trying to say. If I didn't, please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer that as best as I can. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later.